I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to use Venn diagrams to find lowest common multiple and greatest common factors. Well you have learned many techniques to find LCM and this is also one of the very popular technique which we are going to learn. The question here is find LCM the lowest common multiple and the greatest common factor GCF for 12 and 18 using Venn diagrams. So we'll combine two techniques to find the solution. First is we'll do prime factorization. And once we have done the prime factorization, we will see how to use the Venn diagram to find LCM and GCF, right? So let's do prime factorization for both the numbers. The numbers are 12 and 18. So let's begin by 12. So prime factorization is divide by some prime number, let us say 2, 2 goes 6 times, right? But 6 is not prime, it can again be divided, 2 times 3, so we get now all prime numbers. Now let us use another ink for 18. So for 18, 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 could be written as 3 times 3, correct? So these are all the prime factors. So the prime factors for 18 are 2, 3, and 3. And the prime factors for 12 are 2, 2, and 3. So now we will use the Venn diagram. So we have two circles here. In the first circle, we'll put factors of, of 12, right? So these are in green. In the other one, we'll put factors of 18. Correct. Now, in between, what is going to go? Of course, the common factors will go right in the center, right? So, what we find here is, which are common factors? So, we see 2 and 2. So, one of the 2's is common. Let me circle it in blue now. Common factors. We'll put it in the center, 2. Any other common factor? Yes, we have 3. And 3 is a common factor. We'll put that also in the center. It is common to both 12 and to 18. Do you see that? So that is that is a group of common factors. Okay. Now the other factors remaining will be placed in their respective circles. 3 is remaining for 18. So we'll go here. And then we have 2 remaining for 12. So 2 will come here, right? You can see 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so 12 is covered, 18. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, done, right? So likewise, we can now place the common fact, I mean the factors in the Venn diagram. Now from here, we can straight away find greatest common factor. Now the greatest common factor is what? Amongst the common factors, just multiply them all, right? So greatest common factor is equals to 2 times 2 is also common, 3 is also common. So 2 times 3, which is 6, is your greatest common factor, right? So you just multiply them and get greatest common factor. Now, let's talk about the lowest common multiple, right? So let's see what should be LCM. Now remember, lowest common multiple, multiples are more than the numbers, right? At least it should be minimum of the higher number, right? At least it could be 18, but it has to be more than 18, right? How do you get LCM from here? For getting LCM, just multiply all these numbers, right? So we have 2 times next 2 times 3 and 3, right? So once you multiply them, you get your LCM, right? So let's use calculator, just multiply, get the answer. So we get 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 equals to 36. So in this case, lowest common multiple is 36, right? You can check. 12 times 3 is 36. 18 times 2 is 36. So this is indeed lowest common multiple, right? But I hope with this, you have learned how to use Venn diagrams to find LCM and GCL, right? In this particular example, our base is prime factorization. So we used prime factorization and applied 
Venn diagram to prime factors, right? There are other videos where we are trying to find greatest common factor by using not the prime factorization but the factors, right? So there is a difference in the two. Appreciate that difference and go through those videos also so that you understand what is the difference between the two methods, okay? Now, this is indeed the only method using Venn diagram in which you can find lowest common multiple. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.